sometimes if it's a, a professional services company, for example, the fact that by viewing the information on the website, they're, they're not establishing a professional uh, a, a client relationship. In part, it's part of due diligence. I review their website. I ask them how they do their marketing, whether they you know, have an email list um, and things like that. And so a lot of times when we get to their, their website, uh, a lot of businesses will, for example, do things like collect emails, but don't have the requisite uh, opt out uh, information or the language that you need to comply with the Can Spam Act and the California Digital Privacy Act. Or, uh, or they don't have terms and conditions on their website, but they do a fair amount of, uh, you know, back and forth with clients. And, you know, we, we want to make sure that people who show up on the website understand who owns the website, the terms and conditions by which they're allowed to view material there, who owns all the, the intellectual property on the website. Um, sometimes if it's a, a professional services company, for example, the fact that by viewing the information on the website, they're not establishing a professional uh, a client relationship. Um, so a lot of disclaimers should be in there. A lot of times they're not. Um, or, you know, there, there could be uh, in ways that they're doing marketing that might be not, not really in compliance with marketing rules.